I'm comparing the $800 Ricoh Theta X to the $300 Ricoh Theta SC2. The goal of the test is quite unusual. We're going to compare the workflow speed and usability for construction job sites using still images versus the video frames from the Ricoh Theta X. The SC2 takes outstanding 5.4K images. The Theta X takes impressive 11K images that they're outstanding quality. It also can take 5.7K video. To get higher resolution, we're going to use the 8K video that is available to the Ricoh Theta X API. I'm setting the frame rate to 2 frames per second and I'm walking with the monopod over my head. This is an extremely fast workflow. If you walked for 30 seconds, you would take 60 pictures. You could cover the site every day during your normal inspection. The primary advantage here is to take the frames very quickly. I swapped out the Ricoh Theta X for the Ricoh Theta SC2. I'm going to put the Ricoh Theta SC2 on a monopod and a tripod base. So this is probably the most common workflow for real estate shots with the SC2. And it's going to produce a higher quality image because it's a still image rather than extracted frames from the video. The trade-off is time. The SE2 does not have time shift. For that reason, I'm using the timer or the self timer. When, um, when it's pressed a shutter button, I'm then going to hide behind a pillar or a wall. This workflow not only introduces a significant delay between shots, if you're taking, say, hundreds of shots every single day to cover an inspection floor, it also raises the possibility that your staff could trip, maybe injure themselves, or they could bump the tripod as they're walking away and potentially crack the lens of the camera. So this workflow is results in much better images, but it takes much longer and there is some risk both to your staff and to the equipment. An alternate workflow would be to use uh, interval shooting uh, so that it takes it every, let's say maybe 15 seconds with the SC2. That does uh, introduce additional risks of missing sections of your site inspection where the camera didn't cover that portion. Another workflow is to walk around with the selfie stick over your head and use a mobile app to take each picture individually by pressing the shutter button of the mobile app. I just captured eight pictures with the SC2. I plugged it into my computer with a USB cable. Then I'm going to copy it over to my Windows desktop folder for inspection. With the Ricoh Theta X, it's just a single video file that contains all the hundred or so frames. I'll use a single command to extract all the frames into a separate folder. So how does it look? Well, on the left is the Ricoh Theta X, and on the right is the SC2 that's been placed in a monopod with a tripod base. So the SC2 image just looks very good. You could use it for sales. You can maybe see me a little bit that I did not, uh, I was not able to run away fast enough. And let's check out the Z, the Theta X. This is, remember, this is a video frame. So I took, uh, this is the 87th frame from the video. And I'm just comparing this purple banner here. Uh, you can tell that the SC2 does have an advantage as far as clarity, but if you're using it for site inspection, maybe it's not that big of an advantage. Remember, the whole purpose of this workflow is 
for the Theta X video to, to see what is there and what's not there, what needs to be improved. Let's take a look at another shot or another angle here. Um, so maybe there's some additional signage here uh, right behind this partition. So let's zoom in on it. This is the view from the frame, the 87th frame of the Ricoh Theta X. And it's taking two frames per second. Although it's clear that you're getting better resolution with the SC2, the question is, is it good enough with the X to meet your business objectives? The advantages of the Theta X again is the workflow speed. It's much faster than the speed of the SC2. You can take a hundred pictures in very little time. This is going to result in much better coverage of your site. One of the problems if you take individual shots is that your staff could miss a certain section. The SE2 is better. At Dot Guide, we focus on these type of cutting edge uses of the camera.